Hi and welcome to part 14 of how to build an e-commerce website using Django and Vue.js. Today I'm going to make it possible to send email when an order is successful. First I will just create a dummy view so I can test how the email will look like. So if I go into core, just create a view here, def order confirmation, return render request email confirmation.html and save and then I can import this to the URLs this is in the core there path and save and then I just need to create this template order confirmation.html. This is not going to extend the base.html, this is going to be a very simple HTML file. Start with the doc type HTML, oops, HTML, head, meta, HTTP, equiv. Sending HTML emails isn't a very easy task because there are so many different ways that the email clients view the HTML. So we're going to have to make this very basic. Title can just be Soul Gadgets or the name of your store. Style type. You just need to do CSS like this with 100% WebKit text size. Adjust 100%. This is something to do with sizing on iPhone devices. Webkit background. Body should also be 100% width. I want to use Arial as the font. Set the default size to 14 pixels. Background color can be white. Color 333, which is dark gray. I want links to be a little bit darker. Color 111, like that. Then we can go into the body. And in here, I want to create a table. Table with 100% cell spacing, zero, cell padding, zero. Soul gadgets order confirmation. So this email will be sent when the order is successful and we get the message back from Stripe. Nice, your order is successful and will be sent shortly like this maybe we want to loop through the products in the order td then a loop through the order items for items in order.items.all 
this is a reference to this hair so we get this and then I can say p strong item or it should be item dot product dot title quantity item dot quantity price item dot product dot price I don't want to do anything more than this and now I can go in here and just go through a, and just buy a product so that I have an order just add some dummy info actually add my email here just for later check out pay ten dollars okay so now I can log in to the back end orders and this is now ordered perfect so this has the ID one which I now can go into views.py here to get from apps.order.models import order order equals order.objects.get pk equals one then I just pass it in here so I can use it in the template and save so now and copy the address again and go to order confirmation template doesn't exist email confirmation okay just want to rename that refresh so now I have the title the info and the products and the price Perfect. You can also set the dollar sign in front here just to be totally correct. And save. So this is the email I want to send to a user when the order is successful. I'm not going to use a real SMTP server. I'm just going to create a dummy server so the email won't be sent. But at least everything is going to be similar if you use Gmail or another SMTP server. Python -m SMTP SMTP D N C debugging server localhost 1025. So now we have a SMTP server here running, just like if you would use Gmail or similar. So now I need to go into settings.py and set up which email host to use. Mine is localhost, port is 1025 and save. So now I need to go into webhook.py and below here I can set, send the email just need to import this from Django from on Django.core.mail import send mail and I need to import one more thing from Django.template.loader import render to string I'm going to use this to render the HTML which I'm going to send to the user and then here I say HTML equals render to string order confirmation.html this will render that html file and then I want to pass in the order I already have it up here so it's perfect and then I can send the email so here I say send mail equals so like this is a function order confirmation your order has been sent 
this is just a text version of the email you may and change this if you want it's just if the client doesn't have the possibility to show HTML from no reply at soulgadgets.com and then a list of the one who is supposed to get this email I want to get it myself so I can say mail at soulgadgets.com and I want to send it to the user which is order.email I think I have to check this models yes email field there so it will be sent to these two email addresses fail silently equals true I can it can be false now but I like to set this to true in in production in case it is an error and I don't want to stop anything HTML message equals HTML which is this so now we can save and try this before I continue I just want to say thanks to my patreons I have to say a special thanks to Frederick Rowland for being an honorable mention patron if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below okay just wanted to start the hooks so everything is ready so I get the message back from stripe when an order is finished try to buy the lamp Okay, so now I want this to code again. Check out. Okay, so now I get the hooks, and here you can see the email was sent. Perfect. It was sent to mail at soul gadgets and codedstein at gmail.com. The message isn't really sent now, but if you used Gmail or another SMTP server, it would be sent now perfect so you might want to add more information like the total price the, if they use a coupon code and similar so now your customers get email when they order and you also get a confirmation that so you know that there was a successful payment perfect but I also want to use this one I in the admin in the admin of the order when you set the order item to shipped, I want to send a message as well so they know that the email was sent to the user. Now so they know that the package is sent. So I want to just copy this to create a new template. Order sent.html. Your order is sent something like that then we can save that can just close it now I want to remove this so we don't have it anymore like that and just save so in here I want to do something similar to what I did here I need to import these two And I can then just copy these lines okay order sent so that's the correct file we pass in this order which you already have order sent oh, yeah, this was wrong in the previous there should actually be your order is successful or something like that you can print it the products here and stuff like that it's just that this is the plain text that will be sent to the emails and I want to send it to both and yeah, everything can be like this so if I now refresh sorry there's an error can't import order confirmation Oh, sorry, I forgot to remove this up here in the URLs. Okay, looks good. 
refresh and now check this set shipped go now it says shipped and an email was sent to these two addresses with the content saying that order is sent perfect and that was it for this video hope you liked it and if you did please click like below see you next time